What up gamers, this is Revenge Stream, and last time I took you on a tour of the Hellmouth area, like below the moon, and we came all the way one direction to the Temple of Crota, which is closed right now, but that's where the first mission on the moon was that you could do in the beta. And I'm going to show you guys the other direction that you could go in the beta. And there's lots of interesting stuff that way. So back to the Circle of Bones. Where there are many splits. In different directions that you can take. Um, all of these guys respawn, so I'm going to have to take them out first. Again, this is on hard difficulty. Which is because we decided, oh, let's just do the moon mission on hard, and then we were like, wait, no, let's let's explore, and that was like an afterthought, so <laughs> we just ended up exploring on the harder difficulty, so I'm going to have to wait for my fire team to show up to handle these guys, because that wizard's got some crazy splash damage going on. I'm just trying to decide how to go about this, but there's there's too many guys and there's that wizard as well, so best option is to wait for my fire team. We're going to head all the way on the other side of the Circle of Bones where there was uh, two other ways to go in the beta. One of them was up a set of stairs and it led uh, pretty far and there's lots of cool stuff. There's actually an ogre that way. And the other way had two level 12 Hallowed Knights and yeah those guys were pretty tough to deal with especially on the harder difficulty. I found they were a bit more aggressive. but. I mean, you still managed to do it. They basically, they one-shot you, though, if you're low late. So it's best to try to keep back. But anyway, I think we're going to go uh, up the stairs first. After we take out all these guys. Yeah, so this is the way up the stairs and through this little, like, cave section here. If you go down here, things will get very interesting. So this is called the Hall of Wisdom. And that is a Shrieker. Which is this crazy spinning thing, as you can see, and it shoots out those purple missiles I want to say after they die okay those those are heat seeking yeah you don't want to stick around for those I this is how I learned that I died so be careful after you kill those things they're they're like uh, stationary turret kind of things that are hive so you want to be careful after you kill them because the homing missiles upon death that they shoot out pretty powerful I just got confused as to where I was. So, uh, just start taking these guys out. And we'll work our way in.
totally missed on that throw. Right now, if he ducked it, it's not coming. Seems like he's dodging me. So as you may know though, um, those knights are a lot stronger than the acolytes and the thralls. They can put up that black shield thing in front of them, which makes them... It, it blocks all incoming damage from that direction. And uh, they, they usually have a pretty powerful AoE weapon. It's kind of like the, the hunters in Halo. But anyways, this way, there is a hallowed ogre. Right up there. If you want a closer look, there's the sniper. And from that you can see the critical spot on him is that weird brain forehead thing he's got sticking out. If you shoot him in the mouth, it doesn't count. It's just the, the forehead part. So I'm gonna go kill these guys and get a closer look at him. That's that purple beam, that's him. It's a very dangerous purple beam, you don't want to be caught in that, and you need to be taking cover. So as you can see right here, we're just leaving him full health, but yeah, you want to avoid that purple beam, because if you get caught in that, you will die. He's also got that uh, regeneration move. I want to call it regeneration, but it's more like, uh, it, they, they glow red, and they gain extra health and increased movement speed. Oh, I took him out right there with the throwing knife. But yeah, they, they have that move. That uh, the, the knights also have that move, so I'm guessing like that's just like a, a general hive type ability. And the ogres, they also do the, the purple forehead beam, you don't want to get stuck in that. And they also have like a ground pound that will kill you if you get too close, so you don't want to get too close either. And uh, yeah, this this ends at this really interesting door that has all these gigantic wires hooked up to it. As you can see there, so I'm guessing that's probably part of a strike. Or uh, you unlock that door somehow later in the game. But uh, back to the room before that room. If you keep going around and go up this way, there's a cave up here. And there's actually a gold chest. If you go all the way over here, there's those weird like sack things hanging from the ceiling. And if you go in this corner, there will be a gold chest waiting right there. In this corner. And then if you follow this all the way up, Pretty sure this was a dead end in the beta. Oh yes, back to Archer's line. So yeah, it looks like there's there's like multiple ways back into the underground. The underground seems to be like a really huge part of the moon. So I wouldn't say it's it's just for the strike. It seems to be. It is huge, like, it's probably my favorite part of the moon, actually. This was the most fun to explore. You're just basically right in the, in the hive base. So back to the Circle of Bones, there's this, there's this hallway over here. With the, uh, those high-level Hallowed Knights I was talking about. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have trouble taking those guys out. Because if I get hit by one of those things that they shoot, it will one-shot me. And it's splash damage. As you can see right there, it killed my teammate. And they're going to go ahead and be annoying with those shields. So, not the best idea. One of my teammates decided to run in there. But 
But since this knight was hiding, I thought I'd, you know, go in, go in after him. Pull the golden gun, but then, as soon as I do that, he hides, so I'm like, oh, I don't want to waste my golden gun, and then one-shot it. As soon as I turn the corner right there. Wasn't the best plan, but, you know. Just trying to make use of my super. Oh, I totally thought I could get away right there. Knife him and run for it. But it, yeah, it's it's tough when you get one shotted by these guys. But this whole time I was thinking, oh, it's, it's probably worth it, right? I'm gonna get to see something I'm not supposed to see. And there's that regeneration move again. He's being aggressive, coming at us. He's got the increased speed, extra health. So what are those high-level hallowed knights hiding back here? That should be a tongue twister. Oh, there's a door, and it's a dead end at the summoning pits. Which I'm guessing will be unlocked for release. Maybe at a higher level. And just looking at this lava lamp thing over here, I really like how they did the lighting down here. It's really cool. But, yeah, so... Not exactly worth it, but it is cool to see. There's like an area called the Summoning Pits behind these guys. Looks like a higher level area. And they just respawned right there. I'm lucky I got away. But as an added bonus for watching this video, the ending clip is going to be of a event on the moon. A public event. Where um, a mini Sepix Prime guy, one of those... Uh, those servitors is what they're called, I believe. Uh, one of them shows up, and you gotta kill him before he gets to a certain point. So, I'm already on the pike, I'm just gonna do this on the pike, because, you know, easy mode pike. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more Destiny content, be sure to subscribe, because I'll have a lot more of that coming out. And uh, if you have any friends that would like this video, be sure to share it with them. And as always, thanks for watching. Done.